Hey guys, I'm throwing a sleepover and you're all invited. But I don't think anyone would choose to sleep over all these great snacks I have planned. So let's get cracking with my snack and sleepover hacks. Yeah! At most sleepovers you eat dinner, then you have a dance party. But why do we have to choose? At a Shannon Hacks sleepover, you can dance and dine at the same time. First up, my handy pizza rolls. For this you'll need crescent dinner rolls, string cheese, pepperoni, pizza sauce, a knife, a spoon, and a baking sheet. First, have an adult preheat your oven to 375 degrees. On a baking sheet, separate the dough into triangles. Use a knife to help. Use a spoon to spread a little bit of sauce onto each triangle. Now add a few slices of pepperoni. Now cut the cheese. <laughs> now place it across the white end. Then start rolling it up like this. Fold any extra dough on top. Now bake them in the oven for 10 to 14 minutes. Find something to do while they bake. They're finished. Let them cool and then... Because dancing's over doesn't mean the party is. Next up, my brilliant brownie bowls. For these you'll need brownie batter, cooking spray, a spatula, and two muffin tins that are the same size. And you're gonna need an oven mitt. Preheat your oven according to the package instructions. Use your cooking spray to spray the whole muffin tin. Then fill it up with your batter about three quarters full. Use a paper towel to clean up the edges. Now bake your brownies for half the amount of time on your package instructions. When they are half baked, get an adult to take them out of the oven. Mom! Dad! Mom! Oh, hi, Mom. What took you so long? I never know what she's doing back there. But now, it's time to mid up. Spray the bottom of the other muffin tin and carefully place it on top of the half-baked brownies like this. Then put them back in the oven to finish cooking. When they're finished, let them cool and get your parents to get them out of the muffin tin for you. And now you're ready to add some ice cream and toppings. I added chocolate sauce and sprinkles. Wanna know the best part about a brownie bowl? No dishes. Excuse me. Boy, it's late. I guess it's time to get tucked in with my snuggle snack and a sack cookies. For these you'll need Teddy Grahams, Graham crackers, a spoon, a knife, pink and white candy melts, and sprinkles. First, take your Teddy Graham and lay her on a piece of graham cracker like this. Now use a knife to cut off a piece of graham cracker so it looks like a bed for your Teddy Graham. Feel free to eat the leftovers. Melt the white candy melts in the microwave. Then use a spoon to spread a thin layer on the graham cracker. While it's still wet, put your Teddy Graham on top. Now let it harden. Use a spoon to spread the pink colored candy melts on top of the Teddy Graham to look like a blanket. Sleep tight, little Teddy. Before the candy blanket hardens, add some sprinkles. Aw, she looks so cozy in her little bed. Hmm. What do you think Teddy Grahams dream about? I'm out of
What? There's no sleeping at sleepovers, because a sleepover isn't over until you're out of snacks. And that's not happening with me, Shannon around. Remember to subscribe to DreamWorks TV and click here for more fun food hacks with me, Shannon. And let me know in the comments below what you and your friends do at sleepovers.